Hi guys, it's Misty from the Book Rat, and it's time for Book Chat. This week, again, in honor of Just Contemporary Month, we're talking about our most anticipated contemporary reads. So it can be books that have been in your to-read pile for a long time, or on your wish list for a long time, or it can be contemporary books that are going to be coming out soon that you're hoping to get your hands on. However you want to interpret it, that's fine. Mine is going to be books that I own. I said before that I'm not a huge contemporary reader, but I'm kind of amazed at how many contemporary books that I have. Um, some of it's because they're gifts, but a lot of it is because I do buy books when I think they sound good. I just never seem to get around to reading them. <laughs> anyway, here are some of the ones that I own that I'm most eager to read. Who knows when it will happen? In no particular order. Shine by Lauren Miracle. This will definitely be on the read sooner rather than later side. I have been wanting to read this since before it came out. Definitely high on my priorities. If I Stay and Where She Went, by, both by Gail Foreman. I've had a lot of people recommend these to me. Um, I don't know that I've heard anything bad about them, actually. I definitely hope to read them sooner rather than later. I actually wanted to read them this past summer, but just didn't get a chance to. The Bermuda Triangle by Maureen Johnson. This one I have had forever and have been intending to read forever. I keep picking it up or working it into challenges or planning on it for things, and then for whatever reason it falls through every time. Um, I'm not sure why that is. I really want to read it. I've heard nothing but good things. Um, I like Maureen Johnson. She's really funny, and I think the concept of this is really good. And on top of that, I feel like I just need to make a more concentrated effort to try to read more LGBTQ books, so definitely going to try to read this one soon, and as simple as this cover is, I just love it. Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. You'll already know that I'm hoping to read this this month. Um, I guess we'll see because the month's flying by, but whether I read it this month or next month, definitely want to read it soon. Looking forward to meeting Lola and Cricket, who I've heard a lot about. Fall for Anything by Courtney Summers. I think I actually own all of Courtney's books. I've never read one. I've bought every single one on the basis of the hype. <laughs> Everyone I know seems to love them. Um, and it's all people that I trust, their tastes, so I felt confident in buying them, especially because most of them I think I got at bargain bin prices, which is awesome. Even though I own all of her books, I think this will probably be the one that I reach for first. Um, not sure why, other than I just really like this cover. Stolen by Lucy Christopher. This one has been on my wish list for a long time, so at ALA last year, um, Lucy Christopher was there, so I made sure to get a copy and have it signed, and was all eager to pick it up, but haven't been able to, story of my life. So I definitely want to read this soon. I know it gets really mixed reactions. People either love it or really get angry about it, but I'm hoping I'll be on the love side, and either way I think it sounds really interesting. Will Grayson, Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. I've said in the past that I own all of John Green's novels, but the only one I've read is Looking for Alaska, and I think this will probably be the one I reach for first among them. Um, partly just because I've heard great things, but also because I've never read anything by David Levithan, and this will let me know if I want to buy more of his books. The Boyfriend List by E. Lockhart. I've heard really, really good things about this. Um, sounds really funny, and sometimes it's nice just to get the light, fun contemporary rather than a lot of the doom and gloom books that I've been showing you. Blindsided by Priscilla Cummings. I adore this cover and the bright pink back. <laughs> it's about a girl who loses her sight suddenly and has to go to a school for the blind um, and kind of come to terms with that, and it sounds really interesting, but most of all, I just adore this cover. Memoirs of a Teenage Amnesiac by Gabrielle Zevin. This was a gift from a friend, and I had never read anything by Gabrielle Zevin. Recently, I read All These Things I've Done, and really really liked it so that made me want to read this even more. So that was just some of the contemporary I own. There are more.
because I'm just ridiculous that way. But anyway, those are my most anticipated, the ones that I want to work in sooner rather than later. If you've read any of them, make sure that you let me know what you think of them in the comments or which ones should be bumped to the top of the stack, or if there are any that you didn't like and that I should just hold off on for a while. Also, if you do your own vlog or blog post, make sure you link it up so that everyone else can see it and give their opinions on your contemporary anticipated books. If you want to prepare for next week's chat, in honor of Black Friday, I thought we'd give our Christmas wish list. So even if you don't celebrate Christmas, it can be your end of year wish list, whatever. And that's all for me this week. See you next week.